God, God, if you have a servant somewhere, anywhere in the world, may you send me to them. May you send them to me. May I come across them so my life can change. Let me tell you something. When I was going through my own troubles and problems, poverty, like, you know, you know my journey. I've told you before. Those who've been following me for a very long time, you know my struggles. It was so bad. I was going from church to church in my country. I was watching, I, I, I watched all the, on, 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 on TV in my country, there was a channel, Christian channel. I've watched every preacher there. Nothing was happening to my life. I've gone to all the churches that were there at the time. Not, maybe not all of them, but the ones I can remember. I've been there. I went to Tokwen, Broadhurst, uh, um, Habron Industrial Site, uh, you name it, Habron West. Or if I hear there's a church somewhere, because I was seeking to change my life. Everywhere I've been to, nothing was happening. And that did not mean they were not real servants of God. If they were, if they were really sent, they were sent, but they were not sent to me. They were not meant to change my life. God was not going to use any of them to change my life. But perhaps he has, he had given them something for other people, which is why they had congregations in their churches. I want to believe that if somebody keeps going to the church, it's because maybe there's something there that they have found. But it was not for me. Just as it's not for some of you. It is what it is in this kingdom. Not everything that is available is yours. That is why you cannot be watching 20 preachers to 13 preachers. You're confusing yourself. You need to ask God to send you the one that has what you're looking for. I, 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 like I'm saying, I watched everything. Watched all the, all the preachers, American preachers, you name them, Nigerian preachers uh, on Christian channel, trying to change my life. It was not working until I came across a channel, Emmanuel TV. That's when God says, now camp, stay there. That's it. Now you have arrived. I said, whoa. Okay. That's when... My life shifted. That's when I saw change. That's when my spiritual life went from zero to a hundred. And then after that, like I said, I've been to churches. Nothing was happening in my life. It was when I heard of a church in Kopong, there was a man called Prophet Cedric. I've never heard of him before. Triple G, people are, are what I said, okay, let me go try. What, what, what is there to lose? I went to Kopo. When I arrived in that church and I sat down, God said, Amen. Now you've arrived. You are at the right bus stop. 